Hi guys, it's me, Tootie Moose here. And I'm going with you guys a very happy, healthy, and safe Chinese New Year for 2023. The Year of the Bunny, or the Rabbit, whichever you prefer. Anyway, I just had a lot of video to do with the um, Japanese music. So, in this video, I'll do a video on, um, yes, I got that, my, my ears are, um, not behaving again. Well, but Brian, Brian's mane of hair. So, sorry about that. But, um, anyway, this video is, um, going to be talking about, uh, more traditional uh, ch Chinese music this time, music all the time, and it is quite cute, if you say, and quite popular. Her name is Nini Music. I don't think she's in connection with the actress Nini, but that might be like a proper name. <laughs> anyway, um, She's very, very good at, at what she does. She's a, a, she plays traditional Chinese instruments. In this video that I will be discussing, she took, she played the, um, San Zion. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's S-A-N space X-I-A-N. And it looks like a shamsen from Japanese music. But, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a traditional Chinese music thing. Musical instrument. Pretty much, I, I think that it was the basis for a shamsen. Because it, because like most things, in Japan, these these uh, things got got shipped over to Japan, Korea, Vietnam, and so on and so forth, and then they were adapted to their own culture. So I think that what we're witnessing with this performance is um the the origin of the and the song the song Jian. I think that's the Anyway, I'm telling you if I butcher that, but anyway, she's a rocker. You know, the, the, you know, the, um, this type rocker. Anyway, so she wears a lot of uh, black, love, leather, and very interesting footwear too. Knee high boots with an inch tread on them, which is very nice. I like the way she walks around with it, like she walks around in the view with it. She is like um, walking around in like um, the Gobi Desert, I believe, because that's in China and Mongolia, and she isn't. She was born and raised in uh, Taiwan. Now, I like the way she walked away from it. Kim, at least. Because she, uh, looks like she, she's, uh, um, I like the way her, she, her weight, like, uh, flows with the way she's walking. Uh, but that just me because I'm attracted to women of Asian descent. I think they're cute. I think they're adorable. But, um, one thing that you gotta be careful of is, um, she is over 20 years old. Which means that you can talk about her, like, sexy, like, you know, that I can describe her, like, in more of a, um, a sexy way rather than, uh, you know, so that way I'm not seen as, like, a criminal or pervert or whatever. Like, more like if I were talking about a, yeah, a, 
schoolgirl or something like that. The reason why I say that is because, um, you know, with Asian women, they tend to look young for longer time than your average person, which um, can be a bit of a problem, especially because um, they look too young. You know, you, if you're talking to an Asian person, you might think that they're, um, they're 20 years old, more than like 16 or 14, something like that. So, I'll bring up her sexuality thing, you know, in a few minutes, but, um, let me just talk about this song, the Lokma. Now, Lokma is, um, a very interesting piece because she drops out to it with her hair, bounce, with her hair and her head belly up and down. Now, that being said, she has a long, long black hair, like your typical Asian person. But, um, she dyes it like, um, blue and, um, pink sometimes. Now, um, I don't, I don't like that that much. Look good on her, but I don't normally don't like it. You know, you know it's like a sign of. Americanization and stuff, but still, it's kind of weird. And also, her voice is kind of weird too because it's like, um, how should I put this? Um, with, with rocker people, rocker women and men and stuff, you expect more of a like a gruff or a deep voice come out of the person. Or like intimidating, but when she speaks, it's very odd because she sounds like a little, little kid pretty much whenever she speaks in that cute little um, broken English, which is just adorable, uh, very, very cute and very adorable. But, um, yeah, the, the music is. Supposed to be a traditional Chinese music piece. Now, um, it's um supposed to be the uh, about Long Ma. Now, when I originally heard this song, I was I always heard like some of the horses in the show, horses in that video. Like I was like, what the hell is a horse doing? It's, Video of this, um, this rocker chick, uh, rocking out the classical music, you know, Chinese music stuff. It turns out that the, uh, Logma is actually a horse with scales, a legendary animal, supposed to be the omen of a king or a sovereign coming into, um, you know, come back from, in, Come back from the grave, I guess, or come down from the heavens, whatnot. I don't know, I don't know how long. What does it have to do with the, that when they get here or whatnot? But it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool that, they, that she involves um, culture in these uh, things, you know, and show to these. Uh, these uh, Uneducated Americans, you know, what was the word? Now she also does other type of um, music, musical cover, like for example, um, it's like the bumpy, you know, like other instruments, and um, crazy train by Ozzy Osbourne, and uh, you know, among other other things too. And she even does a Christmas song in a six weeks in an outfit, which is very quite quite adorable, I must admit. But um, and uh, she's uh, she's very good with that. Now, I took the opportunity to look at her store. Yes, yeah, she does have a store where she sells her merchandise. 
in which he shows her something like a cute little cheap out dress, as well as other various items, including the one that she did for Logma video at classical traditional folk rock music, metal, metal rock. And, um, there was a, uh, like, um, a V, a look at V top in which he shows off her cleavage. And she shows off her cleavage. And one of the, um, the posters that you buy, combine. Now, I don't know if there's a, like an error with the, with the, with the site or whatever, but, um, some of her parts, like keychains and stuff, are zero, zero, zero dollars. I don't think the clutch, but whatever. Anyway, back to her cleavage. Now, I've seen her videos, you know, some of them. And, um, how she protest delicately? Um, the artist, or is the posters they took a little bit of a the um ad that you think they got a little bit um liberal with her with her outfits with her um with her um physique state in other words there's an american 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 for those of you who have seen the, um, Sonic, um, the Sonic, uh, AMV videos, you will want to see that joke from, um, Lips, set, Sonic set game, six minutes. But, yeah, they, uh, they definitely add a few things. But, um, yeah. The song is actually pretty good. I, I love the way, I love when she plays the music. I love when she actually does play the musical pieces. I love her. I love her. the accent, of course. I love everything you read about this performer. I love the fact that she spent over 20 years learning the music. And I just love the fact that she's you know, from Taiwan instead of China because Taiwan is more liberal as far as the government could at least. Where China is communist and more suppressed. And, um, you know, I like her rocker boots. Could they remind me of when the Adam boots from the TV show? Next show, and uh, the, well, the, like the culture of um, you know the um, Ch ancient Chinese mythology, and uh, you know, I I also find this song to be my favorite my favorite one that she did so far, you know, of the Ch of the mythological traditional type music. Yeah, I, I work out to it sometimes, too. It's not as long as the, the other one, the, um, the Shamsen music cover from King Keith, Shamsen Girl. But still, pretty damn good. And I like her, um, the determination piece that she puts on during this whole thing. Now, I love it when do things I love when, when aging women do. I love when they put on the face of being happy and being determined. Yeah, those are the two faces that I love the best when it comes to aging women. I don't know, just, just something about those two, the two emotions that I like. So, uh, yeah, uh, there's that. There's also the, the rocker part of it, which I think that there are multiple instruments in play that besides the, um, on the Shenzhen 
DN, whatever it's called. And um, of course, there are the drums too, which I have a real kick ass too. Up. Now, um, also, I like the. <clears throat> I like the fact that it's her playing it. And I like the fact that uh, she's like, in, in the Gobi Desert, wherever. I guess camels were uh, not used for this kind of long thing. Um, although I would like to see her perform in Chinese. You know, Mandarin trees or Japanese or whatever that I like to use it. And, uh, yeah, it would be that too. But, um, yeah, I, I would like to see what would happen if she, uh, were to, uh, were to perform any, with the other instruments, like a duet type thing, like, uh, because I know for the fact that. There is a way for her to perform one instrument, uh, one video, and on the next video, like, a have, like, a, um, um, another instrument playing a song song. They cut, they blend together. I don't, I don't think she has done this before, because she has uh, done the, um, uh, the song, uh, doing banjo song from, uh, Deliverance, which I recently saw, but that's just the point. Anyway, she does that feel good too. She even, she even does like e ha e thing too. Not her real voice, obviously. Anyway, um, I definitely recommend it. I'll put the link to that in my video, in the description of the video. So, um, I'm going to cover that, you know, some other time, but right now, if you want to make any more suggestions for any more videos and stuff, my number is 631-707-3707, and my, my email is JJ's viewing channel, and <clears throat> my Twitter is Eat Pro. So, um, if you, if you guys want to have any, you know, you guys do have a very high beam to change New Year's 2023. Quick question, um, let's <clears throat> you have to change girlfriend. And you're not change yourself. Do you always have to say, Happy, happy change in year. Well, you know automatically what what you're talking about. Because if you say Happy New Year, you, you think of the celebration that happens every end, at the end of every December. Not the no change, change New Year. Because um, you know, whenever I talk to my Chinese friends, it's like. Happy, happy, yeah, changing, yeah. I, I think they would know, you know, that it's not the big one yet in the year. And I get at somebody, if they tell me, them separately, or they would want at once. And they said, um, that they tell me at one time, you know, you separate, you separate two dates to be, to just New Year's, and then they, do um the the separate you get you know the separate change one and uh, we were curious about that in the past but whatever anyway um basically what change here sounds so much better than the uh than the standard new year because of one reason you get you know, people will get drunk and stuff on traditional New Year's, but, um, um, that's what, and the Chinese version, you, you get money and good fortune and stuff, and red envelopes, 
I once asked why why the color red. Well, red is like a lung color, a lung color in Chinese. It's what it stands for blood, power, passion, fire, and a bunch of other stuff too. So, we want good fortune. You know, and, um, you know, it's, it's very, uh, nice to have a good outlook on life and stuff. So the Chinese have that in space when talking about this. And, and fireworks, too. Fireworks is a big one. Fireworks is a, a, a big, one of the big Chinese events in long compare. But... I'm getting a hand on top here and I'll track but definitely check out Lord Ma by uh, Nini Music and uh, subscribe to our channel so uh, Aloha I salute you guys have fun be safe and healthy and have fun for the year of the rabbit. I just wonder how I'm ever going to get those ears to stick on my head. It's like the first shot. So, you guys.